Hey, Shashwat, how are you? I'm good, Prayash. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you for taking out time to do our testimonial here. Uh, and we are really looking forward to sharing your journey with all future applicants. So let's get started with that. Like Shashwat, maybe, you know, just introduce yourself, tell the audience or tell our future applicants, you know, briefly just tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Yeah. So uh, basically, I've been interested in computer science since I was a kid. So I used to love fidgeting around computers and all of that. And it finally translated into me graduating from VIT Velo, doing my computer science with information security. And then I worked uh, in Shell for two years as a software engineer. But then I basically felt that I had reached a plateau in my professional journey so i basically wanted to explore other options and then i finally decided to go for masters abroad majorly because i wanted to know the technology that was already prevalent there which is not here in india so i could gain more insights so that's why i decided to go for masters and uh, so basically i gave two attempts for the for going abroad so basically the first time i did it on my own and that was a mistake because there were so many things that I didn't know about, which I should have kept in mind. And um, so obviously the second time I wanted to go with a consultancy agent, ag agency and um, I finally landed up with Lilac Buds because I could see the correspondence and the one-to-one -one connect that I basically got from them, the positive response that I got from them from the early stages. So that's why I chose to go with lilac buds one thing that i would like to say about lilac buds is that uh, the one-to-one -one connect that we get here i don't think we can get it anywhere else because my younger brother also went for a consultancy agency for a different uh, course in a different place but the kind of uh, response that he got and the instructions that he got they were pretty basic and not very structured so the sense of confidence that I got after each and every one-to-one -one session that I had with uh, be it uh, you, Prayash or Karan. So anyone from your team, they were always very supportive and quick to respond on any query that I had. So uh, the confidence that I was talking about was basically coming from the expertise that I could see the instant uh, structured answer that I got for each and every question that I had or a doubt that I had. So it wasn't just uh, mechanical questions, it was more uh, personal as well, because they basically get to know you, they want to understand you first. So they they create a create an entire profile for you, they understand what your what your interests are, what would be really benef beneficial for me. So in, in that sense, I think it's it's very nice because uh, I've talked to several other colleagues as well and I don't think they've got this kind of support and then the second thing that I would like to say was the Lilac Buds platform that we've gotten so in that you can basically it will still be you but the platform gives you a channel where you can actually structure your letter of recommendations your statement of purpose and all of that using the AI tool that uh, Lilac Buds offer you. So in that, they'll ask you several questions and they'll be very personalized questions uh, regarding your interest, what projects you've worked on. So basically, it takes all of your information that you have and it structures it very smoothly and in a very eloquent manner based on what your goal is basically which college you want yes, to go I remember, into remember, i remember you coming back to me at one point telling me that hey i use this tool and i showed the result to a few people and uh, they were all surprised that this was all kind of auto generated of course it's from your story as you said the questions we ask you but it they couldn't believe that this was not written by a human but was mostly auto generated for that part so that's i think that tool is definitely one of our are uh, real amazing value adds to our students. But yes, it's got to be starting with your story and that story that you put in, it's garbage in, garbage out. Otherwise, it's what you put in yeah. is going to be very critical and how you uh, you know, respond to the, res to the questions that are asked is what decides the kind of output you get as a, as a first cut on which then you start yeah. doing the yeah. edits. Cool. Yeah. 
cool so thank you so much for first laying the background and telling um, telling everyone why you chose us wonderful to hear that where did you apply this time where did you get your admits where did you get a scholarship to share those details now yeah so the first time i didn't even have a good idea or a good picture about um, which colleges to apply for based on my preference or my course so i wanted to go for computer science and a little bit on the artificial intelligence side so i applied to a lot of uh, colleges columbia university was one northeastern was one and um, there was one more that i don't remember right now um but i only got the admit for northeastern university and that too was that was for the arlington campus which is not their main campus and uh, even then i was not very sure of what to do and uh, the guidance that i got from alec buds made me understand why it wouldn't make sense for me to go for that because uh, right after i got my decision letters from the first round um, i i approached you guys and uh, that made a lot a lot of sense because if i'm investing so much time and money and effort to go halfway across the world so it doesn't make sense if it it's not the right fit for me so then in the second round i think um the quality of my uh profile the letter of recommendations the uh, statement of purpose or be it any other detail that they required there were a lot of other personal questions as well that they wanted to ask so each and every time i had a query so first of all you define the structure in which i should write the right way to put forth your application that was the first very important step and then you um, basically helped me through every step to structure it all in a very presentable manner and in in the right fit what the college would be looking for so one thing that really intrigued me was understanding what each and every college is specifically looking for what they want from a student so to to basically create that flow for each and every college that was very important i was not aware of that so i so the confidence that i had while applying for uh, next time with lilac buds i think i applied in all the good colleges itself so i applied in uh, um new york university ucsd and then maryland and uh, northeastern as well because i i really love their computer science course and uh, a few others but i remember we also discussed a lot of options how to go about it that there should be some iv colleges some great colleges and then some decent colleges and what would be our options so it was like a complete package where you understand each and every possibility optimistic negative or neutral everything was covered in that so that was great thank you for that yep yeah no thank you for sharing that information with everyone right that there's a process to shortlisting which is looking at your dream schools your reach schools and your safety schools and based on your profile your information how much experience you have what's your gr e what's your gpa band which college did you come from everything was going into making a right shot and the reason for success or failure depends on two things of course which schools you're applying to and what your application content is if you're applying to wrong schools with the right content that's a recipe for disaster as well or applying to the right schools but with the wrong content that's a recipe for disaster as well right so you want to be in the right uh, right schools with the right application good so thank you shashwat for that uh, you didn't share your admit details go ahead and share that yeah um so basically i got into new york university for computer engineering and i got into northeastern university boston for artificial intelligence so i uh, still not kind of finalized but i think i'll be going with uh, northeastern boston yep i think you're almost finalized that i wouldn't say you're not kind of finalized yeah. i would say you're you're <laughs> leaning very heavily towards boston and which makes sense given the kind of goals you always elucidated uh final question for you would be you know for people who are starting their journey now there will be a lot of students who are now looking to apply for the next fall intake what would your message be to those applicants as they begin their journey i remember this time last year in may you started your journey with us right so may june yeah. july is where students start looking at opportunities 
for applying next year and getting into next year's intake. What would yeah. be your key message or key takeaway from your applications being done twice? Yep. Um, I think my key uh, takeaway from it would be, I remember when I first approached you back in 23 May, I was completely clueless. I had no idea how to go about it or, or what to do, even after applying for colleges and intending to go that year itself. So after connecting with you, understanding how the process work, what people are actually looking for, um, I started getting the right sense of direction in where where to start and how to go about it so my advice to the new applicants would be the people who want to go abroad and study in colleges that they really like the first thing that they should be really clear on is what they actually want to learn what they what the course they should be going for it's not like um if if they are inclined towards something that they should take it, they should actually look at the curriculum and understand what the course is really about, how the professors are. Like you've like you've always told me to understand what the curriculum is, what which college would be the right fit for you, including the location, the university, how the culture is. So all of that makes a lot of a difference because ultimately it will be you there for two years or one and a half years investing all of your all of your um, energy money and effort so to get that right understanding i think i wouldn't have i wouldn't have been able to do it without uh, you guys so even i didn't know what um, qualities i had or strengths and weaknesses that i had that i had to put forth so by interacting with you one on one whenever i wanted or when it should have been done, like you've reminded me always. So that that really, really helped me a lot. So after I was done with my applications, I was pretty confident because I knew that my application was in the right place. Good, cool. We are super excited about you, Shashwat. I think as you uh, take the next step to complete your visa formalities and head to the US, congratulations once again on the brilliant admits and definitely stay in Thank touch you. with us. Thank you once again for the testimonial and the time that you took out to speak with us today. No problem. It was a pleasure.